And I will be doing quarterly prolonged fast. That means 10 days or so. In July, I'll be doing a 14 day fasting challenge. I'll be, uh, I'll be talking about that on my YouTube channels. I will be inviting you to join along with me. And uh, another one of my intentions professionally is to use this as a means to help my clients and to help my customers get a grip on rational fasting and building fasting into their lifestyle so that it is something that you're doing every week, uh, every month or every quarter, depending on your goals. So right now, every week, I'll throw in one to one to two uh, nomads, you know, after doing the six months of uh, extended fasting, prolonged fasting, uh, I, I got down to 168 pounds down from two, 240 something at my heaviest. To integrate it into a lifestyle, I use, uh, you know, a couple, you know, omads and nomads throughout the week. Yeah, I help a lot of fat people, that's for sure. And I'm going to be continuing on. And, and uh, I really do want to attack the childhood obesity epidemic, though. That's my main goal. I'm yeah, just right. and also I help so many I coach so many people over voice memo now via like Instagram and I'm probably going to try doing like a massive group coaching thing just on YouTube live. Wow. Mm -hmm. So instead of like just to use my time better, maybe I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I was thinking maybe do one whole hour every night where I just do a and a every night just to give people the motivation every night. And then it saves me talking all day to the just one on ones. There's a lot of people that I help one on one. Once they do put up accountability pictures and shit, they go MIA a lot, right? Like yeah. I, people look at my Instagram and they see these, this crazy amount of results, but honestly, that should be like a thousand for the amount of time I put in. So I got to use my time a little bit better and I might just start using YouTube as this massive coaching platform where I just like talk for an hour every single night. So when people are doing like a long fast, they'll always look forward to this one hour talk every night to keep yeah. them going. I think that's a great idea. I know that when I was doing my 10 day fast, I would listen to your, your uh, videos also. And they totally yeah. motivated and focused. Yeah. Like I've, I've done that too. Like on, you know, long dry fast, but there's not many people to listen to really. Is there on YouTube when you're doing the long fast? Like mm -hmm. there's some people that like, you know, not many people that have done like some really nasty dry fast. Right. But like, I would do the same, like, you know, try to like keep motivated and just, a lot of times, you know, what's funny about fasting every time I've done a long fast, I've always like learned something. Yep. I always had like an epiphany because bringing yourself back to this complete state of minimalism where like you want nothing, especially if it's a dry fast and you start to think about like the crazy, like you get so tough because you're almost like kind of pushing death in a sense. Yeah. That's what people, people are scared of death. Mm -hmm. Okay. People are fucking scared shitless of death. And if you can, everyone's going to be scared to some extent. Like I'm still scared to some extent, but I'm a lot stronger than most. And that makes me push my comfort zone really hard with some of the shit that I do. And fasting always keeps you kind of on that ragged edge where it just keeps you like always tough. And like yeah. 